Artificial intelligence was first introduced in 2019, unveiling groundbreaking advancements. People across the globe embraced AI and integrated it into different diverse sectors, enhancing business productivity. AI's huge success sparked a wave of transformative applications, and even Google launched its own conversational AI chatbot named BART. Today, we witness the profound impact as people utilize the power of AI for unprecedented possibilities. We experienced GPT 3.5 and then GPT 4, which were fine-tuned to target conversational usage. But while GPT 4 made people's lives 10 times easier, it also had some flaws. Recently, the trailblazer of AI, Sam Altman, appeared with great news, announcing that GPT-5 is in the works and will be way better than GPT-4. What he revealed in the interviews will blow your mind. The thing that I think really matters is it's going to be smarter. And this is a bigger deal than it sounds, right? Because the, what, what makes these models so magical is that they're, they're general. Um, and so if it's a little bit better, if it's a little bit smarter, that means it's a little bit better at everything. Sam Altman believes that the crucial advancement in models like GPT lies in their increasing intelligence. He used the term smarter to explain how incredible the upcoming GPT-5 will be and emphasize the significance of these models as they have broader understanding across various domains. He believes that a slight enhancement in intelligence means a massive improvement in the model's performance, making it better at everything it does. In another interview, Altman was asked, what can we expect? Do you think most of the gains will come from new, more powerful models? Or from the fact that we now have so many more people developing on the models for this year? This is what he said. I mean, obviously it'll be the multiplicative factor of both, but if history is a guide for us, it is the more advanced model that is the most important step forward. So I, would, I, I think I would expect that to be the biggest gain again. But as it does get integrated into people's workflows in all these new and different ways, um, the productization is critical. Like we, we started off as a research company. Now we understand that we have to treat both research and product as both critical. And it's the, it's the fact that we can do both of those things that I think makes us a special company. If we go back and compare GPT 3.5 with GPT 4, a notable difference made GPT 4 way more advanced. If GPT 5 will be 10% more advanced than GPT 4, it can be advanced in healthcare, where it would assist in diagnosing and recommending the treatment. It would also help with case analysis and safety critical systems like autonomous driving. If you look at this graph, you can see that GPT-4 was the most successful tool in 2023 that crossed the average MBE passing range. The progress of self-driving technology depends on parallel perception, decision making, and control systems. The existing methods make it difficult to understand complex driving situations and predict the actions of others. The visual language models like GPT-4 offer a new approach. This is an excerpt from a research paper in which they tried to evaluate GPT-4 vision capabilities in self-driving, testing its ability to understand scenes, make decisions, and act as a virtual driver. The results show that GPT-4 vision tops in scene understanding and decision-making compared to current methods, handling diverse scenarios and recognizing intentions. The system did have some issues with nighttime scenes, but what if GPT-5 vision scenes do it with 98% accuracy? Then this is going to take things to another level. With the help of GPT-5, the AI system can be applied to autonomous driving as a mini AGI system. Another thing that will take the world by storm is the AI's IQ level. Human intelligence is measured based on standardized testing of the intelligence quotient. The IQ scores are designed to average 100 with a standard deviation of 15. Most people will fall within the range of 85 to 115, which is considered a normal distribution. But the ones scoring above 130 are considered in the gifted range. Now let's check the IQ level of GPT-4. GPT-4 has scored 155 on a standard IQ test. It's 25 points above genius and five points above the IQ of the average Nobel laureate. If GPT-5 is 10 or 20% more intelligent than GPT-4, you can surely understand how smart it would be. Mo Gaudat, who previously worked with Google, talks about the significant jump from GPT-3.5 to GPT-4. He claims that GPT-4 is 10 times smarter and has an estimated IQ of 155, which surpasses Einstein's IQ level. 
It means GPT-4 can pass the bar exam or get a PhD degree in medicine. The comparison to Einstein's IQ of 160 or 190 emphasizes the difficulty in comprehending the thought processes of brilliant systems. He points out that understanding will become more challenging as the intelligence increases. It will create a barrier between highly intelligent AI and humans. Take a look at this clip with Mo Gaudat. It's 10x smarter than 3.5, right? And ChatGPT4 is estimated to have an IQ of 155. It outsmarts most of us. You know, it passed the bar exam. It, you know, it has a, 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 a you know, it, it can it can become a PhD in medicine. It can become this and that. From that task that we call knowledge, uh, it seems to outsmart most of us. It definitely outsmarts me. Einstein was 160, I think, uh, IQ or 190. It doesn't matter really. I think it was what he was 160. 155. Five is ChatGPT4. If ChatGPT5 doubles once, right, that's twice as smart as Einstein. We're now getting into that zone of not being able to comprehend what they're thinking about, not let alone understanding it. We, we, we wouldn't understand what it is that they're thinking about, let alone understand, uh, you know, what's within it when they explain. It'll be the year we overcome these, not just you, Sam Altman, and OpenAI, but kind of the industry. What are some of the things that are on the cusp of being solved, whether it's hallucinations because of better grounding, whether it's merging AI with company data or yeah. specific data sets. So that's a good one. I think access to specific data and the ability to use specific data in a much better way for like more relevant, more like context aware work. I think that'll get much better this year. I think there's all sorts of the current stuff that people complain about, like the voice is too slow and you know it's not real time and that'll get better this year. Now let's take a look at some of the problems that Sam Altman says they could see improved. Sam expressed his optimism about AI improvements in accessing and utilizing specific data more effectively. He said there will be more notable advancements in the coming year, and they will try to overcome issues like slow voice and non-real-time processing. This indicates that these limitations are expected to be addressed and improved upon soon. We, we have a long way to go and a lot to prove, but I think if we can get, if we can fulfill our mission, uh, if we can even get close to it, the, the benefits to humanity of making intelligence broadly available, uh, inexpensive, and sort of as a tool to let humanity build the future, I think is quite remarkable. I think abundant intelligence and closely related to that abundant energy can unlock a future that is, is, is sort of difficult for me to even imagine how, how good it could be. Uh, and I think right now we don't realize how limited we are um, by the limits on intelligence and how expensive it is and how difficult it is. But if you imagine a world where everyone gets a great personal tutor, great personalized medical advice, we can use these tools to discover all sorts of new science, cure diseases, help the environment, discover new physics, who knows what else. Uh, I think that's pretty remarkable. And also, just speaking personally, I think this is like the most exciting quest frontier I can imagine. He acknowledges that there is still a long journey ahead and much to demonstrate in their endeavors. However, if the mission is accomplished, there will be many potential benefits. People need access to affordable intelligence while utilizing it to shape the future. He envisions a world where people can use abundant intelligence with abundant energy, which could lead to a future beyond our current comprehension. In this era, people will easily access personalized education and medical advice. Sam believes that GPT-5 will extend to scientific discoveries, disease cures, environmental solutions, exploring new physics, and more. We really don't know. You know, this is new science. We're discovering new things all of, all of the time. The rate of discovery is incredible. The rate of change is incredible. But it, it's sort of hard to know exactly how far we have to go. What I will say, though, is we hear all the time from scientists who say that our tools make them much more productive. And they don't have an easy way to quantify that, but they say it's substantial. We also don't know how much that difference, you know, if you could make every scientist on Earth twice as productive, what that would mean for the rate of scientific discovery, because this is also new. This is like, you know, a little bit more than a year old. Sam explains that an increase in the rate of scientific discovery could lead to an exponential rise in societal progress. For instance, advances in computers have possibly increased society's productivity tenfold. If systems more intelligent than humans were involved, the potential for improvement would have been higher, with hundreds or even thousands of such systems exploring different scientific theories or levels of physics. AI has the potential to do things beyond human prediction and can reshape our understanding of various fields. I think we can easily imagine a world in the not super distant future where everybody's got a better life than people have today. I think we can raise the standard of living 
so incredibly much um, if everybody has access to abundant amounts of really high quality intelligence and they can use that tool, those tools to create whatever they want to do. That's like pretty amazing. Um, I, people, I, 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 this is like kind of how I think about it, but people are like, oh, that doesn't make any sense. I'm going to say it anyway. Um, if you think about everybody on earth getting a, the resources of a company of like hundreds of thousands of really competent people um, and what that would do, you know, if you have like an AI programmer, AI lawyer, um, AI marketer, AI strategist, and not just one of those, but many of each. And you get to sort of like decide how to use those, to use that to kind of create whatever you want to create. We're all going to get a lot of great stuff. The creative power of humanity with tools like that should be remarkable. So uh, that's, I think, what gets us all up. Every morning. Sam envisions a transformative impact of AI on society and its potential. He predicts a future where people will have access to highly sophisticated intelligence tools that will improve their standard of living. If everyone gets access to top-tiered intelligence across various fields, it will empower individuals to create and innovate on an unprecedented scale. It would empower everyone with the resources equivalent to having numerous competent AI programming, law, marketing, and strategy experts. The democratization of intellectual resources, as envisioned with GPT-5, allows individuals to harness their creative power and decide how to use these tools for their benefit. That I have been thinking about. So the world is going to try all of these different regulatory approaches. There will be your sandbox. I think it's awesome that you have that. Other people do other things. But we are going to, and I, I think that's actually really good, but we are going to need, I believe, at some point, some sort of global system. Um, the example that I've given in the past is the IAEA, the International Atomic Energy Agency, for what happens with the most powerful of these systems, because they will have truly global impact. And what sort of auditing, what sort of safety measures do we want in place before you can deploy uh, like a super intelligence or, you know, however you want to call it. It appears Sam believes that the world might adopt the development of advanced technologies, allowing experimentation and different approaches to every individual, which will require a global regulatory system. He refers to the International Atomic Energy Agency, which deals with nuclear technologies globally, emphasizing the potential global impact of robust AI systems. He underlines that auditing and safety measures are obligatory before deploying them with highly advanced AI. Comment below and tell us how you think GPT-5 will impact the future. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.